Also jetzt nochmal Heidi Ostermann, sie hat die Initiative True Food Foundation gegründet und ist äh, Nahrungsspezialistin und genau, wird uns was erzählen in Englisch. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. It's time for your English test. <lacht> I've come for the second time for this protest. Thank you for having me. Thanks for better weather this time. I don't have a lot of news from Canada that's changed, but there are a few things you should know about. North America, that's US and Canada, still has no labeling for GMO food. There's an awakening of the consciousness of the people and 50 states, that's half of the United States, have now some type of request or bill in front of their governments requesting labeling of GMO foods. Yay! <laughs> Canada has none. Boo! <laughs> However, the province that I live in, there's 62 cities that now have declared themselves GMO-free zones. So it's moving there too. The most important thing politically right now is that Washington State is going to have a vote very shortly whether GMO foods will be labeled or not. This is the second attempt in the states. Last time, Monsanto and similar companies poured in $44 million to stop labeling. They told the consumer their food would cost four times as much if it was labeled, but that's not true. This time, they were narrowly defeated. This time, I hope that labeling goes through in Washington, because what happens in Washington will go everywhere. So go Washington, go! ridiculous. You did hear that Monsanto awarded itself the Nobel Prize in Agriculture. <laughs> Monsanto made its own prize for itself. <laughs> so let's just laugh that off. They're just crazy. And on top of it, they're splitting the prize money with Syngenta. And Syngenta is going to share that $250,000 for their wonderful progress uh, in killing bees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Syngenta is actually suing Europe for the right to continue selling these pesticides that kill bees. So bad on Syngenta. Bad company. But for some good news, let's end on a positive note. The Pro uh, Monsanto Protection Act. Have you heard of that? How many have heard of that? Yeah. Yeah? It's, it was a law, a real law in the United States where Monsanto was completely protected from lawsuits even if it was proven that their products and their crops caused harm, even serious harm. They could not be sued. This was the law. That law finished October 13th. It's done! <laughs> short points that you should know about as Germans and Europeans. One is that Monsanto is pretending to have withdrawn from Europe, but all they've really done is hidden in the U.S. and there they're conducting their secret negotiations with Europe. The U.S. and Europe are negotiating a new trade, a trade deal, one of the largest, that would uh, basically normalize and reduce the standards. So it would become a common, dom uh, common denominator, lowering standards for Europe to meet U.S. standards, which are pitiful. So we do not want, I do not want Europe to accept this deal. I hope you tell your government no to this deal. No deal with the U.S. on food negotiations. No. has been very proud to not grow any crops for food consumption. But I want to tell you now that this month the EU Commission has approved Monsanto's small
smart stacks corn for growing for cultivation in Germany now. This is a very dangerous corn and a very dangerous move. This corn actually produces uh, six insecticides within the kernels. It makes its own insecticides, not one, but six. It also can be showered with two different types of herbicides, so sprayed with two different herbicides and it won't die. There's been virtually no testing on this corn. Soon Dr. Whittle will tell, show you the health risks for animals that have fed similar corn, but just so you know, heads up, tell your government you don't want Smart Stacks corn from Monsanto. Thank you very much. friend. He's also from Canada. He's a medical doctor, MD, PhD, and uh, now uh, quite an activist against Monsanto. But I do have to ask you one favor, if you can see me, and that is that this crew here deserve a big round of applause. They've been working around the clock. I know you would have come whether the weather was good or not, but it's important to us when we do all this work that you come to support us. But part of that support, if you've got any spare change or a bill in your pocket that you could part with for the cause, we need to pay for this truck that was quite a number of hundreds of euros and the, you know, the sound system, the printing, the truck, the, the everything. It all adds up and it's coming out of pocket for these poor advocates. So if you'd please donate, Danka, this box is going around. I would love it if, if I didn't have to fill it up myself again. 